Todd Grisham, and we're going old school tonight here inside the Grand Theater. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. It's Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs, 183 centimeters tall, weighed in at 73 kgs with a reach of 187 centimeters. And he'll be facing the Patriot, Patrick Rocco, who's six foot one inches tall and weighed in at 175 pounds. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. Here comes the miracle man himself, Daniel Jacobs, fighting out of New York, New York. He is one of the most talented fighters in this division. Let's see what he's got for us in this one. Patrick the Patriot Rocco, fighting out of Wolfenbüttel, Germany. He's a light heavyweight and a pretty good one. It'll be ding ding from first off there, off. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Brooklyn, New York, introducing an acclaimed two-time middleweight champion of the world known as the Miracle Man, introducing Daniel Jacobs. Hiding out of the blue corner from Germany, here is a European super middleweight champion known as the Patriot, Patrick Rokal. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. This has got the feel of a coliseum, just small enough to hear everybody breathing, but big enough to get at least two and a half, three thousand people in here. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Winner of this surely will get a world title shot. There's a counter shot. Good right hand. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. God, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold. We cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Good counter punch. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. This fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. And a counter left. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. away both men step this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go let's talk about Jacobs and a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here we go for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
that was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Nice counter. We wanted action and they are giving us action. Counter punching for both these athletes. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Sometimes when you're fighting a counter fighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Jacobs. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. You've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Changes from both men in this round. I miss with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Good counter right hand again. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Jacobs. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here's the bell for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Wrong. He 
just misses with that big right hand. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. That's another scoring shot. Spider's not shown us much defense at all. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Now. Right punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And shoot. Let's talk about Jacobs. Back into the fray here in round five. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Left counter scores. Perfect punch. He misses with that jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. These two are the perfect dance partner. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. What a punch! Left hand misses. Both men step back for just a moment. He fails to score with that left hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about Jacob. This is the beginning of round six. And they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. And they get out of the way of that left hand. That left counter was perfectly timed. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen.
intense exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. There's a right hand. And that could be the beginning of the end for Roku. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's a knockdown. Oh, no, come on, get up. Get up, it can't be over. Oh. Let's talk about Jacobs. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown's going to be we just saw. It can make or break a fighter. It's round seven. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff in. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Punches and bunches, that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Tony, with this anticipation, you've got to wait, you've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counter punch for score. Let's talk about Jacobs. And there's the bell for round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Why aren't they defending? When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Good punch. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? 
Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Jacobs. Well, he is good. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Punch landed. These two were made for each other. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. Nice counter shot. So much firepower here. other that's a scoring left hand a very competitive round with 10 seconds left let's talk about Jacob Here's the bell for round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Do you believe what we are seeing? Changes for both men in this round. The score with that left hand. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Oh, do you know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab? They're that powerful. both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Perfect counter shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's 
talk about Jenkins. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Here we go in the championship rounds. Round 11. There's no doubt about who won that last round. Now, let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They score again with the left hand. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the gym, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so like what the hell got to fight and beat them on point. Lands with a right counter. And that left lands. Changes from both men in this round. Defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? This fighter is certainly not going to outrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. A lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, I think they just don't get smart enough. It's going to be like a little faded pickpocket. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. There's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You don't want to trade shots. when you just don't have the energy. What can they change? They can change their life. They can change their, 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 their nervous system. Certain amount of punches just per round. And it's a little bit of a lie. If they deviate from the game plan, they're, they're going to be shut down once again. And the fight will be all over. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see these fighters are having a hard time getting out of the punches and they're not throwing as many in on their own. Nice and I gave you both men in this round. Watch, watch, watch. 